So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. Why I bought the Microsoft Surface Duo, this phone right here. Now, the main reason is right now, you can pick this phone up at a steal of 649. This is reminding me of the Essential phone when it first came out, it was way higher. And then after some time it came down and everybody scooped them up. Right now, look at the starting price of the Surface Duo, 1399. This is an innovative dual screen phone that's affordable. You can see right there, 649 right now. That is nearly 50% I think that is actually around 50%, 53% off or so. So that's for the 128, 256 gig, only 699. So, I mean, come on, how could you pass this up if you're interested in something like a foldable device? You can see right there, originally started at $1,500. And why is that important? And that is because with that starting price point that it used to have, this did come out late 2020, you're still getting this very like attention to detail, very premium feeling foldable device because again, they started this phone at around $1,400. So it definitely does not feel like a $699 device. And that's why it's such a steal right now. You could see the beautiful hinges right here. Down at the bottom, you could see that very good attention to detail. There's something about this phone that just feels so special because Microsoft really did put such attention to detail. You only see this kind of like on the iPhone series and certain other devices out there that are really at the top of the line, but man, it just feels so good in the hand. This phone really doesn't look great on camera, not gonna lie, it doesn't look the best, but in person, when you actually hold this in your hand and feel this phone, there is a very different feeling than how it looks through this camera lens or through a photo or something like that. So it's something you gotta get your hands on. And even though it's been out since 2020, the reason I didn't cover it initially is because I didn't think there was gonna be enough interest around this phone, especially at that price point. Okay, so what are you getting for 649 to 699? You're getting two 5.6 inch panels side by side. And these are fully operational, meaning you can actually run two apps side by side and it's gonna give you no problems. So you can run the calculator here, you can have Microsoft Edge opened over here and you could be looking at you know flexible displays and stuff while you're doing a calculation for something at the business table or whatever you're doing. But you can definitely run two apps side by side on this phone. They do operate as separate displays or you can bring these you know windows right into the middle and then it could kind of take up the whole screen. So let me open that up. We'll bring it right there and you can make it fill the screen. Now, there is this thing in the middle that kind of gets in the way. However, unlike the Galaxy Fold series where it doesn't really bother you much, you will definitely see it on here. However, do keep in mind that, you know, you can always just bring it back over here if it's getting in your way or bothering you. So that's a good thing as well. Now you can also flip this phone into this landscape or into this orientation right here. And then you get this really large like tablet kind of feel up and down. And then not only that, this is one of the first phones that actually kind of feels like a mini laptop. It literally looks like one when you close it. And then when you open it, it kind of gives you that feel, especially if you're typing something. So let's go ahead and rotate that back and we'll tap this right here. And you'll see you got your little keyboard down here where you can go ahead and type stuff out. And it's really comfortable. It kind of reminds me of a Nintendo DS. Right down here, you can go ahead and just type stuff out like Surface Duo, like Surface Duo down here. You can also see the emojis nice and large down here as well if you're going through the emojis and stuff like that. So a very cool kind of feel. So a really cool kind of feel when you are using it in this orientation. This just really feels special compared to anything else that I've been used to. Now, if you're noticing the swiping action right there was not working. <laughs> properly. Sometimes things are a little bit buggy, as you can see right there. They're not, this is a little bit rough around the edges with the software, so it's not perfectly smooth and fast in every aspect. But another reason why it's a good time to buy this Surface Duo right now is because they've had time to clean up some of those software bugs and get it a lot smoother than when it first came out. When it first came out, it was much worse. And if you're noticing, there's also a fingerprint sensor here on the side, which is kind of useful on this one because the camera's on the inside, the face on the face unlock wouldn't be quite as useful. You can already kind of just unlock it like that once you get in there a little bit quicker with a fingerprint 
sensor. Now, there's also these thicker bezels, which I do want to see improved that this device does stay around. You can see they're quite thick right there. But one thing that's really nice about this Microsoft Surface Duo is the whole entire aspect ratio of this thing. It just kind of feels nice and wide. Kind of reminds me of the older 16 by 9 phones, but even wider than that. It's kind of like a mini shrunken down tablet. So like a little mini iPad type of thing, but on an Android phone over here. You can see right here, let me go ahead and click that. So you can see sometimes things are a little bit buggy. They don't open properly all the time, but it still works. It, I, I'm pretty happy with the overall hardware, so I can forgive a little bit of rough around the edges on the software because it still works good enough. This is equipped with a Snapdragon 855, so you are gonna be getting an, a little bit of an older CPU, but come on, how much power do you really need? These these Snapdragon series chips have been fast for a while and this one is not super old, so it still has seven nanometer architecture, so it's still very quick. So it's just a little rough around the edges, but it still has a very quick CPU. You can see right there, 5.6 inches, 401 PPI when it is folded there. You can see total RAM six gigs. Now that kind of makes it choke sometimes too. I wish they would have put like eight to 12 gigs of RAM but I gotta say, these displays, they're bright, they're beautiful, they're very contrasty, it's what you expect from an OLED, but they're a lot wider than most phones, so consuming media is just super nice on here. So consuming media on here is amazing. So if you're like reading the news over here, for example, it's nice and wide. Like if you're reading an article or something, there's tons of space to read right here. Then if you're watching a video, you can also see that over there at the same time. So in this book mode, so really neat. And if there's something that confuses you, Microsoft did include the tips right here that will show you how to use everything, get to using both screens. It'll show you can maximize apps. You can kind of bring them over to each side. This is like a multitasking dream phone right here. If you're into having two apps side by side, or you're the type of person who has a monitor next to a monitor and you want it in a mobile package, this is a powerhouse in productivity. You can bring images over to the side as well. You'll see right here, you can drag and drop things as well. So if you are the type of person who truly likes to run two apps side by side, I don't think there's anything that's better than this phone out there. You know, you can do split screen on a lot of Android phones, but it's nothing like this. And you get more room to type right here when you bring it like that, like I showed you earlier and they'll, they'll show you how to resize the keyboard as well if you want that a little bit bigger. So there's a lot you can do in terms of productivity. I think this is one of the most productive phones I've ever seen and I can't believe it. It's cheaper than an iPhone 12 mini right now for a phone that originally launched at 1400. And this phone, mind you, it hasn't even been a year since this phone came out. So that's a major drop in less than one year. Now the phone itself weighs 250 grams. So it's a little bit heavier than something like an S21 Ultra. However, when you flip it around to this folded mode, it actually doesn't feel that bad. It's a little bit wide, it can be a little bit cumbersome, but it's not that hard to actually use if you have a relatively large size hand. If you don't, it's still pretty comfortable. It's not that huge feeling. It's actually quite thin there on the sides. And when you do take it into that mode, look how thin that is. That's pretty incredible. And not only that, you do have those modes kind of like you would have on a foldable laptop. And you do have those modes like you would have on those laptops that are like two in ones. You have the tent mode right here. You can kind of bring it like this. If you're laying in the bed and your phone's falling in your face and falling around on your pillow, this is one of those phones that will solve that problem for you because you can kind of hold it like this. Like let's say this is your pillow in the bed. You can kind of hold it on the pillow like that and it'll just chill right there. So this phone doesn't need a case with a stand like most phones do, you know, cause they're falling all over the place. You can prop this up pretty much anywhere. And I think that's very useful. So I really do like that as well. And then if you go over here, you can hold down, you'll see it'll show you the different pages in here. If we go here to change wallpaper, let's choose new wallpapers. You have some Bing images right here. We'll go ahead and change it to this little bird right here. Let's hit apply. You can see very beautiful colors on here. You can also do these little app groups right in here where you, you can see you'll actually add two together. And if you see right there, it'll say groups right there. It's basically like putting two apps side by side. You click them, it'll go right to 
those two applications side by side that you wanted to see. I mean, how could you beat this when it comes to multitasking productivity? This is pretty freaking amazing. It also has a Surface Pen support. I haven't bought it yet because I've heard bad things about it, but I may consider it down the line. So you can get pen support with this device as well. And just the wideness of the four by three makes the typing so easy on this phone. It's, it's hard to explain until you actually use it. You're not like all cramped with your thumbs at all on this phone. So let's go ahead and watch a video from the channel. We'll go ahead and watch the ZTE Axon 30 Ultra. Now there's only one speaker on this phone, but it's plenty loud. So it's not a big, concern, but if you have it in the wrong position and the speaker's like facing away from you, it definitely will not sound quite as loud as it could in a certain direction. So you might notice that if you do decide to pick this up. Something that's a little bit weird is the camera because the camera's right here on the front. You actually have to flip this phone around to get it into the camera mode. So it's kind of like you gotta, you gotta be having that that way. So you can kind of see the screen on the other side. If you flip it around this way, you, it'll just kind of automatically switch over to the front, flip it around that way, it'll go to the back. Now, the camera itself is an 11 megapixel camera. It does have video capable up to 4K 60. And what I would say is that the pictures and video is just not great on this phone. They don't turn out super vibrant, but I'm still accepting it because the camera on here is still decent for this amazing hardware, because it's not really the focus of this phone, but it's definitely a drawback, or it's definitely something that they can improve on the next one, because having an amazing camera with all this productivity, and especially at the price they initially charged, would have been freaking amazing. So definitely not the best camera, but at least you have some features that you might like, like slow motion, photo, you have portrait, panoramic. And one thing you'll notice is just the simplicity of the software Microsoft put on here. This is very bare bones. There's not a lot going on here except for the Microsoft suite. They, it, they did add the Microsoft stuff in here. So they've been working on their apps for Android for a long time and they're very polished. They're very nice applications. But other than that, there's not a lot going on in the way of over packed with features. You are running the Microsoft launcher. You do have solitary on here. But if you go into the settings, it feels very stock. Like there's not a lot to talk about. It's very stock Android feel with, you know, a little bit of Microsoft thrown on top. So if you're in that clean, minimal experience where you just kind of put your own apps and deal with it yourself, you'll like this. Another thing is that launchers don't all run great on here. So if you think you're going to get this, you're like, I don't like that Microsoft launcher you're kind of going to have to use this because some launchers just don't, most of them don't run correctly on here because of the way this dual screen is set up. But surprisingly, one thing I think you're going to like about this is that a lot of these, you know, applications, they run very well in this dual screen setup and on this aspect ratio. Even some of the games run pretty good, although some of them, they do run a little weird, so you're going to have to turn it sideways, but they still do run pretty good. So I did load up Dead Trigger on here, so you'll see it kind of shrinks in there. But if you do turn it this way, you'll see it gets nice and big. And of course, you can go ahead and take that and you can bring that down here. And yes, of course. And of course, if you wanna bring that into the middle, you can play it like this. Of course, it's gonna get a little bit cut off when you're playing the game. But yeah, you can play it in this book mode. And yeah, it runs pretty good. There's an Adreno 640 in here. So that is a higher end GPU for the Android line. And you can see gaming will be just fine as well. So you can play games on here no problem if you were wondered about that. Another thing about this phone is battery. Now this area has disappointed me a little bit. It's not even a 4000, but Microsoft wanted this thing super thin, especially considering it's a mobile device. The battery life does suffer a bit. You're gonna get through a day if you're using this regularly, but if you're pushing it hard, this is gonna need a couple top ups if you're really going hard on it, because especially if you have it in that dual screen mode, it does suck the battery a little bit quicker than I would like. However, again, if you lower the brightness and you're not using it, you know, all day long, you're just using it here and there, it'll make it through a day. It does support like 15 watt fast charging. I found it to be even faster when I threw it on my OnePlus fast charger, but uh, not super quick charging on here, but it's not super slow either. From a zero to a full charge is around two hours on this one. You could see really nice tactile buttons though. Man, the attention to detail. It's really just special. You have to see this phone in real life. I mean, showing you here on camera is nice and all, but it's just the way they put this together. It's just like, you can tell they cared so much about the way they were building this device. I mean, look at the hinges. There is nothing off right there. 
just absolutely beautiful. And they put this Gorilla Glass on the front and on the back so it feels solid. It's like a sheet of glass. And on the inside, having those beautiful displays really does kind of put the cherry on top right here. Storage, 128 gig or 256 gig. It's really up to you. And yeah, there's not much else to talk about here. It's a really amazing dual screen phone. And I, I might like this setup more than even a Galaxy Fold device. I'm not sure yet. And one more thing I want to show you is kind of how, you know, books look on here because this is a reader's dream right here. Let me put this in the middle screen. Look at this. This is like the first digital book where it kind of turns like this and you can kind of turn the pages right here. Look at this. This is like a truly a book feeling device right here. So if you love reading and that's your main thing you do, you're a reader, avid reader, and you, you want it on your phone, take a look at this. This is a freaking amazing reading experience. I love reading. So definitely I had to mention that one right there, but Overall, I mean, what I love about this device is that it feels like a toy. If you love tech, this feels like a toy. And I'm not saying like a toy, like this is not a premium device. I'm not throwing shade at Microsoft. I'm trying to say that if you have that inner love for technology, this is going to feel like amazing to use. It's going to feel like when somebody just gets a new sports car, you know, it, it's just going to have that feeling like this is special and it is rough around the edges. It's not perfect, but this thing is really something totally new. It's the same way I felt when I tried the Galaxy Fold for the first time. It's just got that newness feel to that fresh, at least they're trying something different feel. And this is what I call innovation right here. Now, do they have to fix some things? Yes. Does it need better battery? Yes. Would we like to see less th thick bezels? Sure. I think Microsoft can improve the camera and they also don't do mobile payments on here. So that would be nice to see as well. But for our first attempt, at, you know, really bringing productivity to a different level here and trying something different for a mobile device. If you're into those kind of phones that do everything in one, you know, you're going to really like this phone quite a bit. If you're that type of person who just really loves to do a lot of productivity and business and things like that on your phone. If you like how the surface tablet is kind of a laptop and a tablet in one and you want a kind of similar experience here on your phone, you got to try this, especially at this new price, man. This is why I covered it. This price point is insane. So anyway, that's it for me on the Surface Duo. I know I was a little bit late, but I wasn't picking this up at no 1400. I knew it was going to come down because it was such a new device. Maybe the next Surface Duo will be worth the higher price tag when it does get all the upgrades that may come to it. I even think that Microsoft could have thrown in a simple camera here on the back so we don't have to flip the phone around and stuff like that and just kept that inner one for a selfie. It wouldn't look too bad right there. It's a little circle right there. <laughs> what do you guys think? Anyway, thumbs up if you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, enjoying, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.